There is this fantasy that if you become a stoic, you're happy. You're happy now. I'll be on my way now. These days, being a stoic is very trendy. You know, that guy who doesn't give a fuck. The guy who's not afraid to say no. Hell yeah or no. I don't have time for that. I'm a stoic now. Can't squander time. Okay, bye. So how did Stoicism and ancient philosophy we're talking thousands of years old become so trendy? Around 300 BC, a wealthy trader called Sino lost nearly everything. His boat sunk with all his possessions on the Mediterranean Sea. Now, imagine waking on a typical day with all your savings gone, just like that. What would you do? After making his way to Athens, Sino was introduced to philosophy. He was blown away by the ideas of Socrates and the Cynics. Eventually, he became a teacher and the founder of what we now know as Stoicism. This philosophy would later be developed by other thinkers such as Seneca, Epictetus and most notably the Emperor Marcus Aurelius. Stoicism would eventually become one of the most influential philosophies in the world. Okay, so what the hell is Stoicism? There are many definitions to this philosophy and they tend to be long and boring, but here is one that's short and sweet. Stoic is someone who transforms fear into prudence, pain into transformation, mistakes into initiation and desire into undertaking. As I understand that Stoicism is a philosophy that provides a framework for living well. The core practice is the dichotomy of control. We don't have control over the majority of things that happen to us, but we do have all the control over how we react to these events. You get fired. No amount of yelling at your boss will get your job back. The pandemic happened. There is nothing you can do to reverse time. This is the new normal. And you better get used to it. It is what it is. According to the Stoics, focusing your energy on external forces is useless. I wouldn't call myself a Stoic because I don't like labels, but I have to say there are many ideas from Stoicism that I like. It was Seneca that said, learning to live with less will create space in your life for the things that truly matter to you. I've talked about this so many times in my videos because this concept resonates with how I live. The things you own, the things you do, the more you add, the more complicated life becomes. Less is better. Period. The Stoics also used to practice voluntary discomfort, something very trendy nowadays. Practices such as fasting, cold showers, sleeping on the floor, all viral videos on YouTube. Stoics did it to increase their sense of gratitude and to prepare for misfortune because it strikes at any time. You may be wondering, why is this relevant? Why is this dude talking about philosophy? I'm busy, man. <laughs> there is this sense that everything is going to hell. The pandemic, inflation, climate change, war, Johnny Depp's marriage and all the other things you read in the news. It makes you think in the morning, what's the point? Why wake up today? I could get COVID and die. But the truth is there will always be misfortune and bad things happening to humankind. This is when philosophy comes into place, reminding us to understand the natural state of things to free ourselves from emotional distress. There are many things we can't control, but we can learn to accept life as it is. I think that's the beauty of Stoicism. 